Okay, in this video, we're gonna take a look at exposure settings in the Filmic Pro. So this round circle here that I'm moving around is the exposure lock. So as I drag higher and lower, um, we got pretty even light right now, so I'm not really getting a lot of, uh, of change in color, but if we had a different, if we were out in the hot sun or something, or we had lights here, you would see that there would be a different uh, way to lock this. So it looks great right now. I'm just gonna lock it once. We're good with the exposure there. Now, if I want to, I can swipe out from the left-hand side, and this is actually going to bring out my, explore, my exposure more, and it's gonna close the ISO and open it to where I'm really blown out. So I can be as manual as I want with this thing. You know, get as dark. I'm thinking right there is really nice, but I'm seeing some signs on the left here that might mean that it's a little hot there. There's like too much light. So if you go down below here uh, in this A icon, if I click it once, up on top here, you're gonna see some different uh, things going on there. There's a zebra stripe. Uh, these are, there's different analytics that are up there that can help you. Uh, they're called live analytics in Filmic Pro. There's three options for exposure and one that helps with focus peaking, which is the FP on the right. I like to use uh, the first one, which is uh, the zebra stripes. Um, that's always been my go-to thing. And it tells you uh, when you click on it that anything red is going to be overexposed and anything that is blue is going to be underexposed. So let's click on it once. And so there you go. So I was kind of right up in the upper side there. You'll see that um, it's kind of hot up there from uh, like glare and whatnot. And ideally we want to get rid of that. And also I see Commodus needs a little light on him. He's a little bit um, underexposed right there. So I would probably want to light him up a little bit as well. And now I can drag out from the left and we can start to slide it around and see if we can change that. So I'm getting rid of the glare out there, but now he's getting darker. And see if I want to get rid of him, I've got to light him up. So uh, of him being underexposed. So I'm going to go a little more, a little more, a little more. There you see, I've gotten rid of uh, the hot spots that were behind him. And now I've got some underexposed areas of him, but maybe I'm going for that look um, as I'm filming. Um, you know, I want him to look a little more ominous or whatnot. Easy fix to this would be to add a light here uh, that would get some light on him uh, or bounce some light off of him so that he would have a little more uh, uh, light there. But uh, these are great tools to have. Um, the next one is called uh, clipping. So we're gonna click on that one. And the clipping one is, uh, this is getting technical again, but it's called, a, it's like a luminance histogram. It's giving us the light, telling us about light. Um, and it shows us that the areas of exposure are clipped um, and there's, not, there's gonna be like data loss. And, at, and once again, red is overexposed and blue is underexposed. And this is gonna be problems in post-production later. Um, we don't have anything overexposed right now but I do see the cracks in the table and, and his front of him, his eyes, because they're dark. Um, there's no light on him. So we're gonna get, uh, we might have some problems in post later. So we would want to light him up right there and make him look uh, a little bit better. The third one up here is called false color. And it shows you a complete picture of how the video's exposure profile is. And you always wanna remember green is good, uh, red is overexposed, and blue is underexposed. So let's see if we play with this uh, exposure level again. Yeah, so we don't want anything overexposed. Things that are overexposed are gonna be problems um, because uh, you know that's gonna be a problem later when color correcting and things like that. So the best way to fix him would be really to add some light to the subject. And uh, unfortunately I'm outside by the pool and I don't have any light. <laughs> But uh, it'd be great to have some light there. But we are doing a chapter on lighting, and we'll play with Commodus some more in that. So let's go back to the zebra stripes. This is really the one that I like to use the most. It's always been the most accurate for me. And if I just zoom up here a little bit, let's bring this down. I mean, right there. So I'm fine with that. And now I could just go in there and keep him kind of a dark look. Um, you know, he is Commodus after all. Um, and that's really, really the way you set up exposure there. 
And then when I'm done, I can press A again, and I come back, and there's my nice picture, and I see what's going on, and everything's locked and ready to go. And I might want to throw that back in. I see my exposure levels locked there with the red circle. Okay, and that's it for uh, exposures.